Okay, this is uh, your warm up. Today you should be working with the sub. So um, pause the video, go to your warm up page, and tell me what's wrong with this picture. Here's the answer. I can go quickly through this stuff because you can pause. So uh, make sure you pause when I ask you to because I'm going to just jam right through stuff. All right, what's wrong with this video? Well, this has bigger mass and more acceleration. That could be true, but not if force is the same. So answer, increase mass, then increase acceleration, no. Today, we're going to describe the motion of objects when forces are balanced. And our vocab today is mostly going to be around this word here. This word is inertia. And it's when forces are balanced. So inertia is a measure of an object's tendency to keep doing what it's already doing. We don't need to take notes right now. But you should be on page 25. And let me move this. So this is topic 16, Inertia, is your title on 25. Let's watch a quick video as an example of inertia. Oh, good one. Again. And one more time. Let's see if I got it. Uh, I'll do one more. Hold on. All right, so I snapped a picture here. And this is kind of inertia in a nutshell. We have the skateboarder and the rider were kind of cruising along. And then uh, he doesn't quite make it far enough. Skateboard stops. But him and his body are separate, so his body just keeps on going forward until it feels, you know, the sidewalk. So this starts with Newton's first law. Newton's first law says that when forces are balanced, so this is a definition, so feel free to highlight this one in red after you're done with your notes. When forces are balanced, an object in motion will stay in motion, and an object in rest will stay at rest. So this means an object in motion will stay in motion with constant speed. So kind of make sure you include this and underline it, because this will be very important on the next topic. An object at rest will stay at rest. And another word for that is stationary, right? Not moving. It's at rest. Um, so here's a sample test question. Let's start it right off the bat. And it's mostly practicing these two vocab words that I want you to be able to use very well. So explain, so write this, copy this one down. Explain the skateboarder hitting a rock and flying through the air in terms of balance and unbalanced forces. On the test, I will give you some kind of scenario. Like a, I might even show the whole class of video. And then I would like, I'll give you vocabulary words that need to be included in your description. So can you do this one? Okay, here's the answer. Pause the video if you're not quite ready. But the skateboarder feels, an un, the skateboard feels an unbalanced force from the rock. But the body of the rider feels the same balanced forces and keeps on moving until it feels an unbalanced force from the sidewalk. So the key thing is I'm going to give you some vocab words that need to be in the description of the motion. So this will be kind of a short answer writing. And this is just a review of balanced and unbalanced forces. Um, balanced forces would be you'd have a book sitting on the ground, on the ground, that's force gravity, but it's not moving, 
So the ground is also equally pushing up with the normal force, force normal. That's stationary. But when forces are balanced, an object can also be moving with constant velocity. We're going to use this a ton, so please include these diagrams in your notes. So this means we have a force applied and maybe some force of air resistance on a car. If these two forces match out, the object's going to move at constant velocity. No change in velocity. Unbalanced forces means an object will accelerate. So if this is friction, and then you tie a rope over here, and you have force applied, it's really big, then the object will accelerate to the right. When forces are unbalanced, an object accelerates. That's review. Kind of what we're revisiting now is when forces are balanced, an object stays still or moves at constant velocity. No change in velocity or change in direction. Uh, do I want to watch this right now? No. Okay, let's do more, a couple more specific examples. An object at rest it will stay at rest unless it's acted on by an unbalanced force. You have this already. So this is a train crash. Object at rest. Forces are completely balanced. Nothing's acting on it. It's just sitting there until... Oops. <laughs> until now it feels an unbalanced force by the train and now it can take off. So, but when an object was at rest, it just stood there. Nothing was acting on it. So we did an object in motion with the state border. We did an object at rest with the um, car before it got hit by a train. And so this is our key vocab for the day. Inertia. A measure of an object's tendency to keep doing what it's already doing. Sometimes we call this an object's desire. Objects want to stay at rest until you put a force on them, but they won't move on their own. So sometimes we use words like desire. Sometimes we say objects are lazy. If an object in motion, it doesn't want to change. If an object's at rest, it just wants to stay at rest. Mass equals inertia. More mass equals more inertia. And we could also say resistance to change. More mass equals a bigger resistance to change. Less mass equals a smaller resistance to change. In other words, the more mass a moving object has, the more force it takes to stop it. Or the more mass a stationary object has, the more force it takes to move it. Right? Like, duh. So, question. Why does it take more force to start riding a bike from rest than when you are already going? So right when you start pedaling, it feels like you're like riding in sand. Um, but once you get going, you're just kind of cruising along. Why is that? So try to answer that. This is our last thing to write in your notes. Okay, the answer is you need to overcome inertia. The, the bike's mass and your mass are resisting change. You need to overcome that inertia, and then once you get going, it's easier to keep going. So you need to overcome the inertia, or massive bike and rider's desire to stay at rest. Is this assignment? Okay. Here's your assignment. This will be on page 24.
So pause the video. You are going to pick some piece of information from the notes and create an answer. Today you have a page of notes. Normally you're given the question and you have to write the answer, but today you have the answers, you have to write a question. So sign into Google, post questions on a blog, and reply to someone else's questions. It could be any type of question, it could be multiple choice. Short answer. Fill in the blank. Write a question, but you do need to sign into Google because that way it says whose name it is. That's the only way you're going to get credit. It has to say your name. Uh, reply to someone else's and post your own on the bottom of the block. Remember, you also have to have your question on page 21 and write down the question that you answered. That's your assignment for 21. For 24. Once you're done, you can also go back and finish the questions on page 22.